Hi YouTube, this is Miles. I'm bringing you my Old Force Vdramon deck profile today. Uh, I really like this deck. I've always loved Vmon, and um, I just have been, I mean, you've already seen a few fights of this on the video, and you've seen how well it can perform, so let's get right into it so you can maybe build it too. First off for the baby, we run four copies of um, Baby Demon. So the reason is because um, Wanyamon exists, but the draw really doesn't make that big of an impact. You have other means of drawing, and um, you kind of want to draw and search early on in the game, and you're not going to be swinging with your like low-end Digimon early on in the game. Anyway, um, the reason as well is because this deck has, I would say, a little bit of a power issue, uh, a DP problem. So like old force is 12k you know there are 13ks and 14ks that it might be up against and so this helps it its ability is when you would unsuspend um a digimon with drumon or Examon in the name it gets 1k for the turn so just a, a nice little power gain that 1k actually makes a huge difference in this game so um that's been going really well for me i never really liked the draw effects off of Baby Demon or Vmon or whatever. So for a level Demi six, Demon. Demi Vmon, thank you. For a level sixes, I like Vmon. For a level sixes, run uh, four Old Force Vdramon. This guy, he's the the main man of the deck. Um, it's uh, on Digivolution. You can play a blue tamer from your hand for free. Uh, and then when you would play um, on your turn, when you would play a tamer, uh, you can unsuspend this Digimon. Um, and then when this Digimon unsuspends, you can kick one of your opponents, uh, you can bounce one of your opponent's Digimon that's level three back to their hand, uh, plus one level for every Tamer you have. So if you have three Tamers on the board, you can bounce level sixes, it's very useful. Uh, plus just uh, multi-attacking with this. I'm sure some of you have seen it, but it's very good. And then this is after set 12, so we now have Old Force Vdramon X Antibody. Uh, this is another great card. It's a... Uh, it's one cost from from Old Force Vigermon, so it's really easy to go into with this deck because uh, you gain a lot of memory once you're on Old Force. But um, it's uh, on Digivolution. You can unsuspend either this Digimon or one of your Tamers, Blue Tamers. Um, and then its other ability is uh, all turns. So that's a big thing because this is only your turn that its uh, bounce effect activates. Um, all turns when this Digimon becomes unsuspended, uh, if you have a Blue Tamer, which you will, uh, or if you have Old Force Vdramon in the uh, Digivolution cards, you can return one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level to their hand. Um, that may not seem that good, but that means probably returning like a Floodgate to hand, or uh, because we are in a very like single Digimon big stack meta, it's gonna wind up just bouncing your opponent's only Digimon. So really solid card. Um, it does not rely on like the arena loop for it to work out because you can do like three attacks or something with Old Force and then just Digivolve over for another attack. Uh, I only run two because obviously you do not want to see it before you see Old Force. But if you can get a lot of Tamers on the board before then, it's really not that big of a deal. So going into level fives, I run four copies of Arrow Vidramon from the uh, BT11. So this card is uh, like the main guy of the deck. It's main level five. Um, it's during your main phase, you can suspend it and uh, check top three, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add all blue tamers from among them. Um, I think it's strictly blue tamers. Yeah, yeah. So all, everything in this deck is like blue tamer specific, but that's all you run anyway. Um, so really good for your like searches. It's really good. I mean, you you know you need um, to when you digivolve Old Force Vigimon, you need to digivolve it into it unsuspended to activate its unsuspending abilities. So you need this to have gone off. Even if you whiff, all that matters is it's unsuspended. Uh, and then it's inherited is uh, when attacking once per turn, activate one of your Rena Shinomiya's on play effects. Rena's the tamer. We'll go into her later. Uh, and then I run, as a backup, I run three copies of the Arrow Vigermon from um, uh, the start deck eight. So its ability is just jamming, so it doesn't die to any security, meaning you can safely suspend it without having it die. Uh, and then it's inherited is um, on your turn while you have eight or more cards in hand, this Digimon gets security plus one. So if you've been doing a lot of searches, a lot of drawing, then by the time you've hit your Ul Force and you have that eight in hand, you can potentially kill in like three attacks, three, four attacks. Uh, really, really helpful if it goes off. Just that if you're going, if you're planning on getting to like to your level six, if you can get to your level six as fast as possible, this likely will not be the option. 
Would you uh, say that someone who might be building this deck for the first time could yeah. buy the old four start deck and have a good amount of pieces they need? Uh, they would have that. They would have um, the other V, one of the Vmons for it. They would have option cards that might not be necessary, but can certainly go into a build, like the um, blue memory boost. Like I used to run those. You don't need to, but you so can. Would you recommend singles instead of buying the start deck? Overall, yes. Okay. Not that they're that expensive other than Rena. <laughs> then I run one copy of Beowulf Mon. So this is from uh, BT7, it's a hybrid. Um, its ability is you can, uh, so it's level five, you know, three cost, like most other level fives are to Digivolve. Um, when you would Digivolve this over your Digimon with a Tamer in the Digivolution cards, you can decrease the Digivolution cost by two. So this is a level five to Digivolve off of one. Um, the reason for that is because within our level fours, we're in a lot of hybrids, you know, which are a cost two to Digivolve over a Tamer. So uh, let's say in a situation you have a Tamer on board, you don't have your stack, but you want to get to your level six and be able to attack. If you have a Tamer, you can pay two to go into your hybrid over that Tamer. Then you just pay one. So off of three, you're already at level five and then you pay the four to go into old force. And if you have the tamers on board, you'll probably keep turn. Uh, but it's just there as a little addition. It's on attack also. Um, you can add a high Digimon with hybrid traits from this card's Digivolution cards back to your hand to bounce one of your opponent's Digimon. I believe it's with, um, no, it's just straight, yeah, level four lower Digimon to their hand. So nice little, nice little board control. Don't really use it for that reason. It's, it's mostly situational, but it is a nice card to have. It's won me a few games. Down to the level fours, run four of the BT11 Vigermon. Uh, really simple effect. It's on your turn once per turn. When you would play a blue tamer, you could draw. So in the event that you really need the help, uh, you can just promote this onto your board, play a tamer, and hopefully like, get a search off, but then you also get a draw. And its inherited ability is uh, when you play a tamer, when you play blue tamer, um, on your turn, gain one memory. So unfortunately you can't like try and play a tamer on your opponent's turn and then, you know, if you hit one in security, you're not gonna gain any memory off of that. But it does mean that on your old force turn, when you play that tamer, you're actually gonna get a pretty good amount of memory. So it is safe to go over the memory limit. Uh, and then here are those aforementioned hybrids. I run three Kumamon. This is a, you can digivolve it over a tamer um, for a cost of two, as if it were a level three. Uh, and then when digivolving, you can trash one of your, uh, one digivolution card from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. So if they have something that you don't want there, it's a nice little addition. Uh, and then I run three Lobomon. Uh, this is just, it's just a hybrid. It's a pay two, it has no effect. Um, you can pay two to digivolve it over a tamer as if it were a level three, same as all the others. Uh, the reason I run it as well as Kumamon instead of like only Kumamon is because this is kind of a, well, it's a very tamer heavy deck. I run a lot of hybrids. There are decks that run even more. I think six is a very comfortable number. Um, I run three and three because the 5k for Lobomon is nice to, you know, stay alive. Um, whereas Kumamon's a 4k, but Kumamon's situational ability is also really useful. Um, I just, you can do four, two. I think that's fine. Um, but this is very comfortable for me. I like it at that number. You know, play with what, <laughs> play with what you're confident in. Down to level threes, we got four of the BT11 Vmon. Uh, its ability is on play. You can reveal the top three cards of your deck and add one, um, Digimon with Vdramon in the name, as well as a blue tamer. Um, so... Good searcher. If you can get out, you know, earlier the better because it helps you fish out your arenas. Uh, and then it's inherited is the same as the BT11 Vigermon, where when you play a blue tamer, you gain a memory. So if you have this, if you have the Vigermon, um, and you go into Old Force, then when you play that tamer, you're going to be gaining two memory, meaning you pay four for the Digivolution, but you're really only paying two, and you can potentially keep turn. I run three, four of the EX1 Vmon. Uh, it doesn't do anything other than it's inherited, which is once per turn during your turn, when this Digimon becomes unsuspended, gain a memory. So that works off of Old Force as well. Um, meaning the turn you play, the turn you play Old Force, or you Digivolve into Old Force and you play a Tamer, you're basically just making that up. Uh, 
the, you're making up for the lack of the BT11 Vmon. I would, I think both are fine. They both serve the same purpose. Uh, and also, if you are digivolving into Old Force Vigemonix Antibody the turn after, um, when it would reset, you are basically digivolving for free because its ability to unsuspend itself. Then I run three of the ST8 Vmon. Um, its ability is during your turn, if your opponent is level six or higher Digimon on board, um, then this Digimon can Digivolve into an Ul Force Vigimon uh, in your hand for memory cost of four. Um, the only thing is that is strictly Ul Force Vigimon. It's not Ul Force X Antibody. Uh, not that that matters too much though. And then it's inherited is when attacking. If you have seven or more cards, seven or less cards in hand, you can draw a card. So this helps to meet that eight card. Uh, requirement for the Arrow Vigimon security attack. It helps just to draw into your tamers. Um, so you might have like a clutch, you know, top deck. Uh, but in general, who doesn't love getting more cards in hand? I'll only run three because the other Vmons at four just feels way too important. And I wanted to make room for this last level three, which are two Madoki Betamon from BT6. Uh, its ability is on all turns. Your opponent can't gain memory except uh, with tamer effects. That's super important, especially with the meta right now. You have, um, I shouldn't say the meta, but just a lot of the decks that are out right now. You have this deck, you know, for the mirror matches, super helpful. There's, um, you know, it shuts down all of the uh, memory boost cards, all of their delayed effects. Um, Bagra, it hurts them a bit. Uh, Cross isn't super affected by it, I would say. It's got a few cards that are like, delete this to gain memory, but those won't activate. Um, just in general, it's a really all around solid card. I only run it at two because you don't want it like, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do anything outside of just being this little dude hanging out on your board. You're not really gonna use it for anything else. Now we go into our tamers. Um, for two drop, I run the V Tamer Tai Kamiya. Its ability is uh, if you have a Digimon with Vigermon in the name, you can suspend it and either draw a card or give, um, that Digimon 1k for the turn. So like I said, this game, you know, this deck has a little bit of a power issue, but if you have the Baby Demon and you have a tie, then your L Force Vigermon is already hitting for 14k, which is a very safe number for attacking. Uh, and also just the draw really helps to see more Tamers or maybe early game you bricked a bit. This can absolutely unbrick you. Um, and the last thing is something really cool is that with Ul Force Vigermon, its unsuspension occurs every single time you play a tamer. So that does not mean a tamer by an effect. So if you have swung with this multiple times, right? And you still have like two memory left, you can just hard play the tie for two because it's so cheap, unsuspend and have another attack to make. Super easy. It's a very, <laughs> very useful card. Uh, I cannot understand how there were decks in Japan that didn't run it. Then I'm sure everyone's wondering, but we got her. You run for BT11 Rina Shinomiya. She's the main tamer of the deck, the main card of the deck, dare I say. Um, she's perfect. Rina's ability is on play uh, until the end of your opponent's turn. One of your Digimon with Vmon in the name gains blocker and evade. So that's super helpful for the defense uh, and for not letting your level, you know, for not having your level six die. I really like using that. I like having my level sixes on board. Um, secondly, uh, all turns, uh, when your Digimon with Vigermon in its name becomes, uns becomes suspended, you can suspend this Digimon and reactivate that Digimon's when Digivolving effect. So I'm sure plenty of you already know how this works, but we're gonna go over it real quick. So here's the play. You got your Aero Vigermon, you suspend it, Let's say, let's say this is your hand. Let's say beautifully, you have four arenas in hand, which both of these two can attest has actually happened before. You just be allowed to show that to your opponent. And, your and just be like, stand. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah just be like, four in hand. yeah, so this is game. Okay, okay, so you pay, and then let's say, let's say you have the tame, you have the, you have the, whatever. You're at one, all right? Your memory's at one, and your digivolution source is this. You have the Vigermon and you have the Vmon, okay? All right, so here's what happens. You have these baby demons in there for that 1K. This is, this is it. 
And this is not like this like perfect, beautiful, absolutely, you know, flawless scenario that only happens 10% of the time. No, this deck draws and searches enough that this is semi-normal. You might have two arenas, you might have three, you might have one, but other tamers, all that matters is this is your hand in this situation. It can pop off and it's wild. Um, you use Aerovedramon. Whoa, look at that. I top decked two arenas. I'll add those to my hand with two other arenas, okay? Pay four. Remember, you're at one memory. I pay four. I pay four. My opponent's at three. And I Digivolve into Ulfors Vidramon. Okay, on Digivolution, I play Rena. Unsuspend Ulfors. I can bounce a level four now because it's the only tamer I have. I've unsuspended and I played a tamer. So Rena's final effect is on your turn, once per turn, when one of your Digimon becomes unsuspended, gain a memory. So that's one memory, two memory, three memory, and plus 1k, and it also has blocker and evade. Swing again, activate Rena, play Arena. Oh, I played a Tamer? Cool, I unsuspend. This Rena goes off, I gain a memory. All right, attack for the th uh, second time. Effect, play Arena, unsuspend, gain a memory, attack, play Rena. Play Rena, unsuspend, attack, there you go. You know, and then, oh, you've got another Tamer in hand. There you go. Oh, you have Ulfors Vidramon in hand. Cool, you just made another attack. So that's what the deck can do. Um, you can gain tons of memory. You can just swing. You can just pop off and annihilate your opponent. It's delightful. Yeah, it's like kind of sometimes you're not going to have that hand, but that's why the hybrids are there. That's why you run that many Tamers. That's why Ulfors Vidramon X Antibody is a thing. And that's also why we run two of the BT2 Rena Shinomiya. Um, her ability is on your turn, when one of your Digimon attacks, uh, you can suspend this this Tamer to give it 1k. So again, helps with the DP power. Um, there's no question between like, you know, with, with V Tamer Tie, you do kind of have this moment of like, do I want to draw? Do I want to use the 1k? Obviously she helps with that decision. It's like if you have her and Tie, you can use Tie for the draw and you can use her for the 1k. Or you can use both and go up to like 14 or 15 with Baby Demon. Um, but her other ability is on play, check the top, reveal the top three and add one card with one Digimon with V in the name to your hand and stack the others on the bottom. So obviously everything in this has V, but like, you can search those out now. Uh, she just helps. Um, I've seen a lot of the decks that are like strictly do not run this and run like four tie um, because the draw. I, I don't agree with that. I, I think that there's a risk of using her because you could check a tamer and send it to the bottom and you're never gonna see it again. But I think that running it at two and using it a little bit later in the game maybe means that I just think that the benefits outweigh you the, only the cost. Won all part of that arena? Yeah, because uh, it's a tournament, it's an event pack for regionals. So hopefully, after entering this next one in June or July, I'll get another one. But Yummy. it's more than you guys have. We run three Davis Motomiya. He's the memory setter. So, you know, if you have two memory, you go to three at the beginning of your turn. Uh, and then on play, reveal the top three cards, add one blue and one green Digimon to your hand. We don't run any green, obviously, but it's nice just add the blue. Four drop is kind of heavy, and um, this deck really doesn't need this guy that much, so I run three. Um, that's the thing, there are a lot of lists out there that are like four Davis, four Rena, four Ty, and then that's it. I don't really agree with that. I think you can safely decrease quantities of Davis, you can decrease quantities of maybe not Ty, um, but like, don't be afraid to go a little lower and run more options because, not option cards, this deck doesn't run any, but like, have a variety, go for go for versatility. Um, this card's great, but it's not four copies great. Uh, and that's the deck. Um, let me know in the comments how you like to play Old Force and what your variation is, because I know some people don't do like six, uh, hybrids, other people run like Sora and Joe, um, other people run Leomon and <laughs> Jerry, and to you, if that deck works and you have fun, I applaud you, but god damn, that is the brickiest variant I've ever played, uh, but thank you, and uh, have a good day, bye-bye.